Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series 1986 movie cup. For the packaging, just get cup out of the way. You got cup here, and obviously he looks like he looks so horrified. He looks like uh, he looks like if you stepped in a water puddle with your socks on, and yeah, you got that art again you got more cup back here you got that more cup right there and you got the barcodes and stuff now for the black for the backdrop it is when oh hold on it is when cup was being attacked by the squid creature that ripped off his limbs that's how to, that's how i put that so for the for cup himself, you know you got nearly visible everything syndrome right there. I'm gonna take off the gun and his little energon goodie dispenser, and he got a nice metallic blue for the windshield right here, and you got the Autobot symbol picked out in red. You got like this, I not really navy blue, but like it's definitely a type of blue that's used on here, and. You got like this light bluish green on him. Uh, you got another Autobot symbol right there. And you got obviously the nice sculpted in detail that the War for Cybertron and the 86 figures have. So, for some size comparisons, he is with Earthrise RC. And here he is with 86 Hot Rod transformation uh you just pop the arms out from underneath here which are just held in with these two tabs that you can see pretty clearly you're gonna want to flip out the split piece then what do you do next what do you do next i forgot what i do next so i believe you're supposed to untab around here nope guess not okay so I guess you just do that, and it untaps both sides. Alright. Separate the legs. Take this. Hinge it that way. Same on the other side. Oh, wait. Hold on. You go... Okay, nope, never mind. It doesn't really hinder with that. Alright, then... You want to flip up this panel. The knee is kind of like that. You're going to want to make sure it's completely flush like that then you could just plug that back in same on the other side take the arms get them out now this I'm not nope I guess I'm not doing that right all right then this kind of just hinges out same with this one. Oh, just popped off. Alright. Pop that back on. Take this. This just folds back. Then this just hinges up into orientation. And now you can see where cups are going to be formed. Alright. Fold that down. Flip these tires in. Fold down the arms. Then this is a bit on a... This is on a hinge, so... Or not really a hinge, but this way. Yep, that way. All right. There we go. That just slides into place. The backpack folds in, collapses in, holds that together. Then there's these two tabs right here. There are two slots. You're gonna want to push that in the place. Hold on. Alright, there, push that into place, and then that just tabs in. That holds all that together, and I be- oh wait, nope, not yet. Now, I believe I am done. So here is the Transformers 1986 movie cup. Now, for his details, uh, you still got that Autobot symbol picked out in red right there. You got the metallic blue. You got some orange right here. And, like this, same with, like, 
kind of a navy bluish. I'm not really sure what shade of blue this is. You got this weirdly sculpted face. I'm not sure if I should call it weird. In some degree, it is accurate, yes, but eh, it's it looks okay. And you got orange here also. I think that's a kind of silverish right there on the knee. You got his tires peeking through here. That's funny. Yeah. And obviously the War for Cybertron stuff has all the sculpted detail. Alright, so his accessories. He has his gun right here. Easily plugs into his hand. He can shoot. Yes, he can shoot. Now, his other accessory is the Energon Goody Dispenser that he used to feed the Alicons. He could hold that. Unfortunately, I wish this piece would have been picked out in purple to resemble the Energon Goody, but, you know, nothing that a little paint can fix. Uh, another accessory is... <laughs> If you can just you can you can rip them apart. His, imagine your limbs, like imagine you being an action figure, and your limbs are your accessories. Like his limbs are removable. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe. Hold on. If I, I believe this leg was the one that was still attached, and this arm was the one that was attached, and he was like, "Fix me, Hot Rod." Uh, and much like the movie, you could have Hot Rod come over here with his little thingy that he used to fix cup and have him fix him up. Just like that, boom, he's fixed. Hold on, hold on, I, got, I have to do this. I have to do this. I'm sorry. This is going to be a curse. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. There, now you could have Monster Cup. Yeah. Fix me back up, lad. I'm sorry. Um, let me let me actually fix them, though. What'd you do to me, darn lad? Alright, there. His limbs are back on. There. Now, for some size comparisons, well, I just want to get him stood up for the size comparisons. He is compared with Hot Rod, and Hot Rod is, like, slightly taller than a cup. Finally, here he is compared with Earth, Earthrise RC. Here is my review off of the Transformers Series 1986 movie Cup. Now, I can basically guarantee Grimlock being my next... 86 review because there's no way I am reviewing blur next I wanted to save him for last since he's the worst out of the bunch But thank you all for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Bye